Welcome to the CAST AIP HP Quality Center Integration demonstration. During this session, you will see how violations selected for action via the CAST AIP dashboard can be automatically added to the HP Quality Center as defects. This will enable development teams to leverage the same platform they are already using to track other types of defects, such as those coming out of functional testing. And this will help them manage their work via one single system. So you're already familiar with the CAST AIP dashboard. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to investigate some of the new critical violations that have been added into my WebGoat application. And I want to focus in on the WebGoat session module, which is managed by my team lead, Alex. So I can see here that I have some violations I would like investigated. The copy-pasted artifacts definitely need to be looked at. SQL queries inside of a loop can be very expensive, so this is important as well. And I can see there are several violations to my custom architecture rule. So what I will do here is I'm going to select all of these items for action. I'm going to add in a simple comment saying, please review these before the integration build. And let's say it will be version 401. Confirm these have be added. Go into my action plan and see that these are indeed added to this. But from here, I could easily export all these violations to an Excel spreadsheet and then email them to the development team. But then they're going to have to add them into HP Quality Center to start working on them. Well, we can make it much easier than that. So first, let's go over to HP Quality Center. And I can see currently I have no active defects in my system. So let's see about how to automatically transport these cast violations into HP Quality Center so that I can start having my development team work on them. I can easily do this via the CAS Consultant Toolkit. And as you can see here, I've selected third-party HP Quality Center, and I've chosen my central base, in which my dashboard is being hosted. Then I can select my HP Quality Center domain and my project. Then, I want to choose my application. As you saw, we were looking at WebGoat. Now I can process my action plan. As you can see, it's pushing the action plan items. Now right now, I'm doing this via the Empowerment Cast Consultant Toolkit, but I can script this so that all of these violations will actually automatically get pushed in to the HP Quality Center. How this is being done is it's taking an extract from CAST and transporting it via REST services to HP Quality Center. Now that my process is completed, I can go back into HP Quality Center and refresh my defects list. As you can see, all of the violations that I selected are now populated. You can see the details in the violation is on what object, what is the rule, and what is the comment that I added. What I can also see here is that because my team lead Alex is managing that WebGoat session module, they've automatically been assigned to him, and from here he can distribute them to the individual team members. Thank you for listening.